face to face, and today we're gonna we're gonna go to Brazil, and then I'm with uh, Josana. Good, uh, welcome to face to face. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank and you. then we're gonna talk about uh, uh, the Women Month, who's coming uh, in March, and uh, a big event organized as uh, Ayati Theatre. Yeah. So, but let's let's start a little bit with Brazil. What okay. what's going on? What's going on there with this crazy president of yours? Wow. Uh, that's a very sad subject because the president is an irresponsible person and he took power and I mean it started with a coup d'etat yeah. when they we removed moved Dilma okay. yeah. and Dilma has committed no crimes, mm -hmm. it's proven now. Yeah. So the vice president Temer at that time, he assumed power and that's when the whole articulation started so Bolsonaro got all these weary people that they were tired and it started that we you know like we see here in the US as well that campaign based in fear and hate and, and how does he stand against women I mean he, he took a stand like a few days ago yeah he's a misogynist he just said about a um, journalist from Folha de São Paulo it's one of the biggest um, newspapers in Brazil, like the New York Times from Brazil. Okay. Um, he said that in translating, translating di directly, mm -hmm. he said that she wanted to give, um, it's because when you have like a big news, like when you have a hit in journalism in Brazil, you say a whole. Yeah. So she wanted to give a whole mm. on him. Oh, I see. That's very, sorry for yeah. saying that. This, yeah, yeah. They didn't even, oh, it's awful. Yeah. Like the president, he's always addressing women like that. Uh -huh. So when he says like, oh, I have four sons, but then I, I got weak and I made a woman. Like, as he, like wow. he, that's how he talks and addresses women. Yeah. He's a misogynist, he's a homophobic, he's a racist. <laughs> no, a few days ago we published an article on uh, on this stand on Amazon where he took the land from the indigenous community to, uh, of course, give it to a corporation and agriculture and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, there's nothing new there, but the scale of the of the project, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, he's been working to make money. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't but even have the vocabulary for it. He's like selling uh, land that doesn't belong to him yeah. in exchange for money. And he's a corrupt person. And there are proofs that connect his family, his sons and him to corruption. But um, he made Sergio Moro the minister of justice. So that's, and, and he theoretically, this person is the person that is in charge of the Brazilian FBI. Yeah. So it all makes more difficult to investigate them and to bring truth out. But like the truth, it's on our faces. Yeah. But they, they have so all this the, but like. So when they go directly to him, it well, him and his gang. Yeah. Because they are gangsters. So like yeah. there is a gang in charge of Brazil now. Yeah. They are all dangerous gangsters. It's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll go back, come back to New York <laughs> before get too crazy. So, um, for, uh, for the, the month of March, the Women Month, yeah. you are organizing a big event. Can you a little bit tell us more? So, uh, Yati Theatre, okay. uh, this is the second year that they organize this event for women, International Women's Month. Yeah. And we will get to to perform and read poetry on that Sunday, March okay. 8th. Okay. And there is also a panel and they, are, they want to celebrate all women. Okay. And they are looking forward for the next years to keep on doing it. And I think the initiative, it's amazing. Okay. Actually, Iati is a theater company that stands for women, Latinx people in New York. They are the first Latinx people here and they've been strong for 52 years if i'm not wrong in that wow. information yeah and so what what are you, what what is your uh, role on on that on that on that day or on that oh, uh, I got show to, i got to meet winston that works with yanni in the production of this event okay 
at the um, the last event that they have they had it's called tertulia uh -huh. is where you can showcase your art yeah i know you come from south yeah. america yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was it was in this past tertulia yeah. i i performed a piece that i created with help from my friends uh talking about the immigration crisis in the u.s wow and the immigration crisis in the U.S. and also the, the situation with all these men that are ruling the world right now and how we are all being ruled uh, like puppets and children are actually dying because of it. Uh -huh. And I, I, am, I take this subject very seriously. I'm an, not only an immigrant, but I also come from the place, I'm a Latina, so I come from the place where now they are telling that the monsters, the sick people were coming from. Yeah. And it touched me dearly that in the U.S. we have kids in cages, like in concentration camps, calling a dog a dog. And we keep on living our lives. So as an artist, I'm trying to bring voice so we don't forget. I. I am also a certified clown, so I, I would lo I love to bring laughter and joy, but I think at this moment we need to, to be reminded because the way we exist in the system is to like work, work, work in the hamster wheel and pursue happiness, which is like having the power to buy stuff. Uh -huh. And we end up in that frequency that is imposed on us, we end up forgetting what was, what's really happening and they get away with it. So that's how Bolsonaro, Macron, Trump, and the other one from Canada, the, all these world leaders that I don't trust at all, mm -hmm. that's how they get away. Mm -hmm. And then with immigration, how do you, really, because the situation is very, very particular, hard, uh, dishumanize as, 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 as really as low as you can get. How, how artistically can you, can you show that, that situation? Well, in the case of that performance, mm -hmm. I had the pictures of the children in the cages and I was sewing them to a dress uh -huh. that I would wear after, uh -huh. but also the pictures of Trump, Jeff Epstein, um, and Macron and all the, the world leaders. Uh -huh that I think agree with in certain ways if they can keep enriching uh -huh. themselves uh -huh. with the situation. And that's, uh, so I had this moment and I wrote a piece. Um, I wrote this poetry because I was, li I was reading the leaves of grass, over the leaves of grass, um, Walt Whitman's book. Okay. And I, I started feeling like, oh, this book to me, what does, this represents and it's America but who am I here and I feel I feel um, like I am an outsider I've been in New York for six years and it's, it's been six years that I look like I'm from the outside and, and I, I try and to understand why, it and, and feel this culture feel, but why do you feel the outside I mean I think it's because of the, the culture of fear that it's imposed yeah. and this beautiful because the American people are such, like they are such good people and yeah. they and especially in New York there's yeah. so much diversity. Yeah. But you, if you were an immigrant and if you were here, you will feel like, oh, okay, so that's where this is the line where I you don't am, cross. yeah. So I by reading what what Whitman I started feeling, and then I wrote this piece that's called, the, it's called out here over the leaves of grass, uh -huh. um, and presented at Tertulia. So that's how I met um, Winston, and now Yanni. And then you're gonna yeah. have to, to, sh to present it again for the, on March 8th. No, for March 8th, it's another piece. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. No, no, it's okay, I talk a lot. <laughs> um, on March 8th is a piece that right after that piece was over, I started thinking about this piece that won't have like an actual text. It's with a song, uh, Fiona Apple's song that's called Shadow Boxer. So I would listen to the song and have the images of abuse against women because it goes in many, many levels. 
until you get to the violent level, like, um, at least in my country, 40 women at, it's 40 women per four minutes wow. suffer violence. But physical violence, who is in some way, it's at the end of the spectrum of violence, because before you it, abuse yeah. physically a woman, you have done the, psychological the, the, and, 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 and psychological and, and, and sometimes religious and sometimes uh, uh, other type of uh, sexual uh, violence before you get to the physical. Sure, in the case of the, 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 the partner, right? When, yeah. when women are suffering yeah. abuse, violent abuse yeah. from their partners, but yeah. you also have the, uh, rape, uh, which is like something that every single woman is afraid of passing through, and most of them had been, are a survivor of yeah. sexual assault. So um, you have these two types, because the sexual assault will happen in the ambience of work, in the streets, uh, it will happen. Only women have the fear of like walking late night towards home. Men walk around and they're okay, but like, and you have that happening and more and more news are coming around it. You have that happening in work ambience. Like. <laughs> and, and, and did you play it in Brazil and here in New York, or it, you only, only does the show in New York? No, it's oh. to see if, if you have different reaction. Uh, well, these pieces were created here. Yeah. It's very recent. Okay. And I've never brought them to Brazil. Okay. Not yet. And here, how people are reacting to it? Well, they will see this piece on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. It's <laughs> so, so we don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know how they will react. But okay. for the last piece, they, they, they really, um, they received it with the heart open. There yeah. was this beautiful woman that she was like, oh, thank you so much. And she was in tears. Like, mm -hmm. I have to be reminded of what's happening and you bring in this strong piece. Mm -hmm. And Yati gave the space to that to happen, so I'm very grateful for them. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you want to plug or to, um, to present before we wrap up? No, I just want to make sure that everybody can be there with us on March 8th. We mm -hmm. have a panel and we have a lot of poetry reading, we have a whole event. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Sana. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. That was your uh, show face to face and please keep watching your news on presentsa.com and uh, ask your friend and your family member to subscribe and hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.